Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain an American heartwarming drama movie, called Wonder. This movie tells the story of a boy named August Pullman, usually called Augie. He is 10 years old, but he is a special born child. He was born with a rare medical facial deformity, mandibulofacial dysostosis, and has undergone 27 surgeries in order to see, smell, speak and hear normally. Currently, he is in elementary school, but this year, his parents decided to enroll him in middle school after four years of homeschooling. Before classes begin, Augie and his mother, Isabel meet the principal Tushman to give an introduction about the school environment. The principal arranges a tour for him with three other students, Jack, Julian, and Charlotte. Feeling inferior, he finally gets to know them. They go around the school, but not long after, a curious Julian asks why Augie's face is like that. The question makes an awkward moment for them. Luckily, the question doesn't make Augie sad and he stays tough. At night, his father, Nate, asks him about the introduction of the school environment earlier. His parents say it is okay if he doesn't want to go to the school, but he still insists on going to the school. The next morning, his family, including his older sister, Olivia, takes him to his new school. Fortunately, with his condition like that, he still gets support, encouragement, and also love from his family which are things that are very necessary for him. He begins to enter the school and is ostracized from his friends. Even the noisy classroom suddenly becomes quiet when he enters the class, everyone is staring at him strangely. In the class, they start to introduce themselves for the first time. Augie says he really likes Star Wars. Then Julian asks if his favorite character is Darth Sidious. With that question, he knows that it was a mockery because the character has a face that is similar to his. During break time, all his friends keep looking at him strangely and no one wants to sit near him. Even Julian again mocks him by saying that the way he eats like a monster in Star Wars movies. During sports hours, he becomes the only target to throw the ball at. After school, Julian and his gang bully him continuously. At dinner, the family discusses how their respective days were. Augie, who has no intention of discussing his first day at school chooses to leave the table. His mother immediately follows him into his room and asks what happened. He cries because his facial deformity makes everyone at school doesn't want to talk to him. His mother still gives encouragement and believes that he will easily live his life in the future. On the other hand, Olivia also supports her little brother, even though since Augie's existence, her parents' attention has decreased for her, but she is very mature in accepting this and understanding her family situation. Her life also changes after the school holidays, she is less socialized at school. Her best friend, Miranda, has been well received in her family. But strangely, on the first day of school, something changes inside her. She's slowly getting away from Olivia, even though she doesn't know what caused it. Shortly after, she gets a new friend, named Justin. Because of him, she signs up for the school drama club. Meanwhile, Augie is getting used to his school life. He is used to the strange looks he received as well as the bullying that happened to him. He is very interested in science, which for the other children is the most difficult subject. One day, the teacher holds a science test. Seeing Jack who is having trouble taking the test, he gives a free cheat so that Jack can get a good score. Later, Jack approaches him and thanks him for the help earlier. It turns out that good grades are very important to Jack because he is a student on a scholarship program. They immediately became good friends that day. For Halloween, Augie dresses as Ghostface from last year after his dog ruins the Boba Fett costume he was going to wear. He walks through school upbeat and confident due to his anonymity. However, upon entering the classroom, he overhears Jack who does not recognize him, joining Julian and his friends and making fun of him behind his back, saying he would kill himself if he looked like Augie. He becomes incredibly sad and makes himself sick from worry, forcing his mother to abandon her mother-daughter day with Olivia to get him. When he gets home, Augie vents his anger on Olivia, but she tells them that they have something in common, namely that they are both shunned by their best friend. In the end, she convinces Augie to go trick-or-treating. Soon, Augie forms a new friendship with a girl, named Summer. He confides in her about his split with Jack. When Jack asks Summer why Augie suddenly is avoiding him, she only says Ghostface. He soon realizes and resolves to make it up to him by being his partner for the science fair. When Julian confronts Jack in the hallway and calling Augie a freak, they begin fighting. As a result, Jack is suspended for two days, and the principal reads his letter about defending Augie. He then apologizes to Augie via Minecraft, telling him he said only to gain favor with Julian's friend group, and they finally reconcile. Later, Olivia begins a relationship with Justin. She is selected as Miranda's understudy for the lead in the school's production. 
but on the opening night, Miranda learns that Olivia's family is in attendance while her own is not. Consequently, she feigns illness to let Olivia take her place. She gives a moving performance, earning a standing ovation. At the end, she and Miranda reconcile due to the success of the drama. Augie's popularity and circle of friends grows over the years, but he is still bullied by Julian and his friends until the teacher notices one day. The principal confronts Julian and his parents with evidence, including hate notes and a class picture with Augie photoshopped out. Julian's mother admits that she deleted Augie from the picture and defends Julian's actions. She also insists the other students should not be exposed to Augie. Despite her threats to pull funding, Julian is suspended for two days, forcing him to miss the school trip. As they leave, his mom declares that she and her husband were going to pull their son out of school anyway, so he will not be back in the next semester and Julian apologizes for his fault. At the trip, they are very happy and participate in various series of activities. When watching together, Jack feels bored and asks Augie to go out together. Not long after, they are threatened by a trio of 7th graders from another school. Luckily, Julian's ex-gang suddenly helps them at the right time. After that, Jack and Augie thank them. One of them says that Augie is a brave boy and they already consider him as a good friend. Because this is the first time he receives such a warm welcome, Augie is crying. For the first time he feels accepted and becomes part of his friends. The trip changes his spirits, he becomes more confident and excited to hang out with his friends. At the graduation ceremony, Augie thanks his mom for enrolling him in school, and she tells him that he is really a wonder. He is given the Henry Ward Beecher Medal for his strength and courage throughout the school year. The movie ends with everyone cheering Augie as he delivers a voiceover narration. Be kind, for everyone is fighting a hard battle. And if you really want to see what people are, all you have to do is look. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.